mai dăm și gara să mă Here at Beijing's Chaoyan Park, a very special charity bazaar opens on Saturday morning. Foreign diplomatic missions and international organizations in China set up booths to raise money for renovations of poor areas in Yunnan province. More than 70 foreign embassies and international organizations, as well as nine domestic businesses, were invited to the charity sale, Love Knows No Borders. The event was organized by Lu Aimei, wife of Chinese Foreign Minister Yang Jiechi. After the opening ceremony, the couple toured around the booths lining up the parks Lihua Plaza and Songken Square. There were nearly a hundred booths, many of which were operated by the ambassadors themselves, offering exotic foods, books, clothing and handicrafts. Uh, it is the third time. Uh, the Hungarian Embassy always participates in uh, this event because we consider it is an extremely important event. Love knows boundaries and um, I like the team. This is why we are participating and I'm very confident that at the end of the uh, charity we will have sold out all the goods we brought here. Charity activity, charity events, uh, maybe in some time uh, not uh, help so much for uh, such huge country as China, but we know a little help, a little something for poor places, students or uh, children. I think it's 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 very good. Today morning, the first uh, consumers came here to buy something. Were uh, two Chinese uh, women. They bought two bottles of Russian vodka. <laughs> the popular Russian, the famous Russian uh, drink. But of course, uh, another one is uh, the Russian, uh, very famous uh, spirit is uh, kvass. Kvass, many Chinese friends, maybe especially from the northeast part of China, may be very, very familiar, know, know very well, because there are some traditions in Harbin, for example, from um, 100 years ago. Well, this Zero is... degrees. Okay, no, okay. No, not soft alcohol, drink. not soft drink. Okay, cheers. Cheers. This is the most traditional, I think, uh, especially for the charity events. In, in, in Russian, its name is Baranki. You can try. So why is this thing usually used in charity events? Does it have any special meanings? Uh, no, uh, it's ve very... Uh, the uh, the, 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 uh, uh, yes, because it is prepared very simply, uh, you know. People who have no much money, only some flour and the water and some just just uh, su such things uh, could could prepare this. Uh, for people who like uh, unique food and uh, unique uh, pastry, I would suggest some Hungarian food and pastry which were made uh, by some uh, colleagues from the embassy and uh, this is made with honey it's a special cake, it's sweet, and in English you call it gingerbread, but in Hungary practically we don't put it in, ginger into it. And this is a Spani uh, also a Hungarian uh, cake, which we usually make for Christmas. And that is the traditional Hungarian Christmas cake. Personally, I like most this small brandy. It's half medicine, half drink. This, for example, is about a woman uh, fetching water from the river to take home for cooking. These are also paintings made from Ga by Ghanaians, Ghanaian artists. It's chocolate. Okay. It's chocolate pebble made from cocoa and peanut. Again, it's very healthy. It's very healthy? Yes. Chocolate is healthy. And it's very filling. Not all chocolates are healthy, but the chocolate from Ghana is certified to be healthy. You try it and see. Mm. Again, it's it's a little bit um, hard to bite, but flavor is very good. Okay. Mm. You are supposed to um, just lick it. Oh, you you're supposed to just lick it. You don't have to chew it. You oh. lick it until it becomes soft. 
Okay, my fault. I should lick it until it becomes soft. So, this is a chocolate that Gary Lock, U.S. Ambassador Gary Lock, just bought from the Ghanaian booth. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Were you around when he bought it? When the you? Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> I think Garlock has a very good taste for food. According to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, about 1.4 million yuan was raised at the sale last year to help people with disabilities. This year, the proceeds will be used to fund a renovation project in Yunnan's poor mountain villages Jinping and Malipo. Visitors to the charity say today can buy tickets at the entrance for 10 yuan, which will also go directly to the course. For China Daily, I'm Christy in Beijing.